How's it going everybody? Stickman with TLD Bike. Today we're going to talk to you about the D4 helmet. You know, this is a helmet that goes, the, the lineage of this helmet goes back to the mid 90s when we launched the Daytona helmet. It was that downhill race helmet and BMX race helmet that everybody wore at the time. Even if you rode for other brands, you wore a Troy Lee Daytona helmet. Um, so that was the start of this series of helmets, um, which birthed to be the D2 later on in 2000. Um, I think 2010 was the D3 and now the D4 helmet. So this helmet is designed and developed here in Southern California at our headquarters here. Um, we launched it in 2020. It was during the pandemic. So, you know, as a pinnacle race helmet, there wasn't a chance for us to get out on the circuit, but later on when the races came back online, the D4 helmet by way of our amazing athlete program, won some world championships. We've got some world cup titles with Camille Belange and Valley Hole. Um, we've got BMX medals at the Olympic games with BMX race and BMX freestyle with the D4 helmet. So already off to a great start. I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about what comes in the helmet when you get this in the box. So right here, we got the D4 carbon also comes in the composite. I'll tell you a little bit about the differences between the two helmets. Um, I'm going to crack this bad boy open. And there is your, your uh, Pro Elite carrying bag that comes with the D4 Carbon. The D4 Composite, you're going to get a carrying um, sock. Um, but you get the Factory Pro case with this D4 Carbon. It's got pockets on the side, you know, the custom pullers, and then inside the helmet wrapped in protective material is your D4 carbon fiber helmet. This one here is our stealth model, um, kind of the raw carbon look. Um, depending on what model year you have, um, there was a tech stream type of carbon, which is this checker effect you see here. Uh, moving forward, we're going with a UD carbon. That's a more unified um, carbon, a little bit lighter on those, uh, but still super lightweight, strong, protective outer shell. And um, so inside the box, besides the helmet, included in the box is your manual, of course. Tells you all about all the features and benefits of the helmet there. You got a safety decal with some emergency information that we like to adhere to the um, underside of the visor, name, phone, or phone number, emergency contact, um, some spare visor screws. You get the two side screws and the middle turbine screw. So all those come inside the pack there before you start digging into your, your new helmet. You know, some of the features on this helmet, um, a lot of what the industry standard features are, but we take it up, take it up a couple notches with some, some new innovations that we're seeing on the D4, not seen in any other helmet on the market. And also to tell you about the intent of this helmet, who we designed it for, you know, the D4 helmet, at its nucleus is made for downhill racing and BMX racing. We set out to make a pinnacle product, premium, uh, super light, ventilated, um, meeting and exceeding all the safety criteria, the ASTM downhill standard. And, um, you know, this thing is a full on race helmet. Uh, it's not really meant for just riding around your neighborhood. And this is something you're going to see on the, on the world cup circuit, the Olympic BMX circuit. You know, this is, this is the pinnacle of full face downhill and BMX race helmets. Uh, some of the features we, we kind of introduced that are kind of the flagship features of this helmet. Um, again, built on the heels of the, the D3, D2 and Daytona before it, iconic uh, race helmets. Taking it up a step, step above with some new innovations. Uh, we did this uh, shoulder and collarbone impact relief zone. And what that is, is it, is a, is a bit of a relief area cut away in the carbon shell and the composite shell um, filled in with EPP. We've seen a lot of injuries over the years and we've been doing this a long time. Um, we're in severe impacts with the shoulder coming up, uh, even collarbones, you know, your body contorting up into that area. That just gives you a little bit of suspension um, impact relief area there. And we're starting to do that on our, on our downhill helmets and on our motocross helmets. So a pretty cool new feature there. Um, ventilation, you know, 
on our previous models in the past, you know, ventilation was never something everybody really needed more of, but keeping your head cool is uh, something that's gonna make you faster in your, in your race runs. Um, so we did increase the ventilation on this helmet. Um, we created these new gills in the front, the front center piece. During some of the early prototyping, we did do the gills on the side. We ended up going for production with this um, anodized wire mesh um, that's embossed to fit you know, perfectly into that vent area. Um, but riders were complaining about getting some debris in there, but it really wasn't a problem with the front. So it's a really cool look. Um, that part just pops in there. For some of the different designs, we can do different colors. Um, and so give it some of that Troy Lee Designs design aesthetic that we're known for. So ventilation started was something we really strive for. We added the vent ports at the top. You get around 20 ventilation uh, ports in this helmet, and those are all integrated into the, into the shell and the comfort liner. They align with the EPS foam inside. Um, so you get that intake of cool air and the exhaust of, of hot air. Another unique safety and performance feature implemented with the D4 carbon and composite is this all new advanced micro shell layering at these venting ports. These not only add strength from impacts and crashes by reinforcing the EPS, these also add a design element that's synonymous with Troy Lee designs. So we can add different colors to the micro shell, um, candies, metallics, that'll tie into the graphics of each helmet. And these micro shell surrounds at the vent ports is the same material used on our half shell helmets like our a3 so some new safety innovations on the d4 carbon and composite um, also on this helmet we do these smart shear screws on the side so they have a bit of a shoulder built into the screw so upon impact those those screws will shear off so your visor is not catching on the ground and that goes for the center turbine as well um, it's obviously a mips helmet all of our um, D4s, the carbon and the composite, coming with that MIPS uh, rotational protection system. Um, ionic uh, material, comfort material on the liners and the cheek pads. That is a uh, moisture wicking, antimicrobial fabric. Top of the line, pinnacle premium product um, seen in, our, in, in these higher end carbon helmets. Um, you're gonna get titanium D-rings, which is kind of a you know what we what we've always gone for on our top of the line helmets so a custom will touch there the d4 embossed poles on there uh, another thing we did on this helmet versus some of the previous models is we added epp into the chin bar area and you know epp is that softer uh, low speed energy management foam past helmets have had eps there so it's a little bit stiffer um, but that is going to aid in the impact um, if you hit hard enough and that chin bar does flex into your jaw that epp foam is there to um, absorb that energy there and it's all you know been molded to fit into the helmet with precision it looks really good um, so yeah that's a the d4 carbon and like i said comes in a composite shell as well and you know, historically the composite shells were, you know, a hundred plus grams more. So for that rider that was looking for, you know, the, the, the much lighter weight helmet, they'd go with the carbon. Now the composite, it's really only about a 50 gram spread between the two. So really close in weight. And you know, both of these D4 carbon sub thousand grams, you're looking at about 1050 for a medium large on the composite. So even in a composite shell, it's super lightweight. Um, you, do, you do get the, um, the helmet sock on the composite versus the custom pro bag. Um, it's steel D-rings on the composite versus the titanium on the carbon. But those are the main differences between the two. Uh, this one here is a, a graphic we've been doing since we launched this helmet. Um, but yeah, lots of graphics and colors on both the carbons and the composites. Uh, so that's the quick rundown on the D4 helmet, D4 carbon, D4 composite. Check them out at a local dealer or online. We make a wide range of sizes from extra small to double XL.
um, then hopefully you can still see this helmet winning on the BMX and downhill race circuit around the world. Thanks for watching.